If you're confused about technology, there's a nerd you need to see, Beth Z TV. Beth Z here, your nerdy best friend, with another episode of Beth Z TV. Yay! This week, we have a whole bunch of tools for you that have to do with graphics. And they're kind of a mix match, mismatch of different types. So I hope you stay and watch all the different kinds. The first thing is let's talk about cartoons. Cartooning yourself has become very, very trendy in the past few years. Bitmoji was one of the first ones to do it. Apple now has its own uh, Bitmoji type tools where you can do little graphics based on your face. And there are several things you can use in this category. I use Bitmoji, not really professionally because it's, it's against the rules to use it for your business to advertise, but I use it to add a little emphasis uh, to email that I'm sending out or little posts that I have. So this is an example. This is someone who wrote me and said, um, wrote me once and then within 10 minutes wrote me back and said, never mind. And I sent her back this, right? Just a little happy uh, face. And then she wrote back and said, every time I get an email from you, I smile. Well, how amazing is that? It's because I added just a little touch of personality to an email and made it a little special. And it took me no seconds at all to add that little piece. It probably would have taken me longer to write her back. Now, if you're not into the cartoony things, and many of you are here for your business, you might try Pixton. Pixton is a tool that's been around a long time and it'll help you create little illustrated graphics for infographics and illustrations and things like that. So it's not really a cartoon type thing. It's more of a creating figures that you can use in your business. Now there are a whole bunch of different tools I like for adding some fire and, and fun to your regular pictures. This one's called Photo Face Fun. I've used it. Some of them are weird. This one is called Photo Funnia. And as you can see here, I just uploaded a picture of myself, changed a headline, and now it looks like somebody is reading a newspaper that says Beth Z launches Beth Z TV. And I can change it to uh, breaking news, choose photo, and choose that recent one that I did. All right, it asked me to crop it. And then I can say channel Beth Z TV. And then breaking news, Beth Z TV is out. All right, and I click go, and there are a number of uh, different views I can do with that, but I'm gonna go with the regular one. And there you go, just a fun little picture that looks like a news background that you can post. This one is kind of interesting, pho.to, uh, p-h-o dot t-o. Photo has been around for a long time, so it's got a lot of those same type of graphics. Some of these are weird, folks, but you can do magazine covers, um, face flag paint, human to animal montages. Don't, don't even try some of these things. But... If you go to the main site of faux.to, you can see that they have all kinds of artificial intelligence tools that you can add to your images and make them better. For example, I came over here and I, come on, I would never need um, a exploding fireball uh, thing in front of me, I don't know, or make my eyes look like that. But this one is kind of interesting. So you can find some real treasures in here. They have an app and this is their web app. So I like this with the perspective of looking through the camera and then taking the picture in the back. So I uploaded a picture of my CS, getting me getting my CSP and that's what we did it. Now, if I posted the picture of me getting my CSP, everybody would say, oh, you're so amazing. You got your CSP, whatever. Wow. But Instead, I uploaded a picture of from a different perspective and now I can post it again and it's a more interesting perspective on the picture and it changes that dynamic. There are a couple of uh, apps that help you morph your face. This is called Face App 
And this one actually got in trouble a couple of different times because everybody uploaded their picture and it could transform you from young to old and and do all these fun little uh, these fun little filters on it. But people were afraid that uh, they were taking your face and turning it into artificial intelligence or uh, using artificial intelligence to recognize everybody everybody on the planet and stealing our privacy. So it got in trouble, but these are <laughs> are interesting things to try out and just be aware of the privacy issues. But they also can help you refine and make your pictures a little bit better. So here, the next category we have is vectors. Again, I told you these were multiple graphic tools. So vectors are really advanced, really heavy duty, like nerd graphic people files. And many of us don't know what to do with them or can't even open them. So there's Inkscape and Vector, without the O, that you can use to edit and create vectors that you might need for different files. So if somebody ever sends you one, you might be able to just upload it and change it to a different format, or you can uh, do whatever you need to with it to make it a lot more accessible than the way you have it before. This tool I talked about a couple of weeks ago, go back and find that newsletter if you want to, but this is called Touch Retouch, and this is one of my favorite photo editing tools. So Touch Retouch actually identifies what's in a background for you, and you can erase background weirdness with just a click. So you can see the center picture here. It has the, the lines across the really cool picture. You can just touch on those lines and they disappear. You can remove a mailbox from like the picture on the left where somebody's riding by. Maybe there's an electrical box you want out of your picture. It will remove those things for you using artificial intelligence. Quick repair. Plus it has a bunch of how-tos. So it's important sometimes somebody sometimes you download these things and you're like, I don't really get it. It sounds cool, but I, I can't figure it out. A lot of these tools have really good how-tos that take just a couple of minutes for you to figure out how to use it. And then I'm going to show you this one. It's a, it's a subtle little tool. It's a small tool, but it can fill a very specific niche, challenge, problem, what have you. It's called Pablo, and it's from that company called Buffer, and Buffer will help you schedule your social media posts. So Pablo is a graphic editor for Buffer, so that its whole purpose is to help you create really professional, quick social media posts on the fly. Just by clicking around, it's totally free. That is all I have for you, but again, we have the joke of the week. Ready? Go! You know, it must be difficult for construction companies to fireproof your home, but I'm sure they do as best as they can. And now we're back. Thank you so much for our joke of the week. Thank you for coming and listening to us. And I will be back next week on Beth Z TV.